All right, hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Doom Eternal, where we are about to finish off this gate. So, uh, it took me about, I don't know, maybe, uh, two and a half hours, maybe three hours, and, um, I kind of figured out the, the situation, how to, how to get it, how to finish it, how this one worked, and how the, the enemies worked, and I kind of got back into the groove of the game. Hey, beautiful, right there, done. Doom Gate is finished. Yeah, so it took me, you know, about two and a half, three hours. But, I'm back. I am back. Alright, so we are there. Got everything here, so it's straight forward over to there. Uh, I need to go to the left. I need to go this way. Beautiful. That area is still locked. I don't know how to unlock it. So I guess... Really, my only bet is to go down. It's all I can do. Um, and I see this here, which is probably going to take me to over here. Beautiful. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Bam, secret. Toy found pinky. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, it's now that unlocked this. Now I can drop down here. And continue forward. The myth of the Doom Slayer. His power. His will. Okay. These are the lies of the non-believers. Let me just finish up. Finish up grabbing the rest of this map. Beautiful. All right. Let's do it. Ah. Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, so I've got I dropped down before looking up there. That's a shame. Oh well. Before your time, the slip gate will take you. Central Prime, where the priest is hiding. Cool. All right, what is this? Lost City of Hebeth. Uh, Vega data entry. Let's first look at the image. All right, and now the content. Amidst the long and enduring history of Sentinel civilization, there are moments in antiquity that have become buried in time, forgotten chapters that remain concealed to Sentinel historians. Waiting to be unearthed, the fallen city of Hebeth is one such tale, all but forgotten to the tons of the legacy past. Once a prosperous port city, a proud, gleaming marker of conquest for, this, for the distant tribe of Bethian clansmen of the Outer Worlds, Hebeth bring, bridged the dis, uh, desperate Sentinel cities with the ingenious design of Slipgate invention. But it was not meant to last, and among those cities lost in the Crusades of Sentinel past was Hebeth, or Hebeth, now little more than a smoldering ruin swallowed by the quaking surface of a once habitable Mars. All right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. Continue onwards. Praetor suit point acquired. I'm at full health, which is good. Ooh, buddy. Did I miss anything over there? No. Let me just quickly go back over here. And this is going to be the last little bit for this mission. This is going to be the last one. I hate you guys. You guys suck. Chain gun. I love this chain gun. This got me through so many freaking difficult things over in the, uh, over in that, uh, what's it called? Demon gate thing. That and this rocket launcher. Beautiful.
Yeah, after going through that demon gate, this is nothing. This is a walk in the park. I have low ammo. Which means I need to do this. Okay. Uh, I want the plasma rifle. Oh, hello, you. Oh, I'm out of ammo for this shit. Uh, I guess we'll stick with the heavy cannon then. I hate these. I hate these guys. These guys are so annoying. All right, I need to get some more ammo. Come here, you. Oh, I have insufficient fuel. Shit. All right, I guess uh, super shotgun time. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Where are you? Hey, you are. You're coming up here? Well, I'm coming up here. Okay, now let's swap to... What do I want to swap to? Let's swap to... Rocket Launcher, maybe. He still has his armor. He's still moving around a little bit. I wish that I had... Uh... Oh! Chain Gun! Whoa there, bud. There we go. Beautiful. That's the super shotgun. Don't want the super shotgun. Ah! I need that. I probably need to do two of those. Beautiful. That should be everyone. Nope, still one more. Come here, you. There we go. Alright, and so that was the last bit of this mission. 10 out of 10 demonic corruption completed. Oh, hold on. I almost missed that extra life. Almost forgot about that. Okay, so what do I do? I have to go over there. Beautiful. Hello, you. Empowered demon has been defeated. And I think that that's everything, yes. There was that one thing in the last area that I couldn't get, which was one of these. Still have no idea what that is. Okay, how many of y'all are gonna spawn? Jesus Christ.
I didn't miss anything over there, did I? Nah. Before I climb up this, or jump up this. The portal ahead will take you to Sentinel Prime, where the Hell Priest Dave Grav is waiting. Beautiful. That is awesome. Hell yeah. 10 out of 10, 2 out of 3, 20 out of 20. Almost got it fully done. There was that one challenge which I probably should have been able to do. Yeah, kill 40 demons with a very big gun. I probably, I could have been able to do that. That's a shame. All right, let's continue onwards. Sentinel Prime. You have traveled, you've traveled through the core of Mars, arriving at the ancient city of Sentinel Prime. You have sovereignty in this unholy place for now. The Great Slayer was once a warrior king in this world. Tradition grants you safe passage, but the completion of your mission will come at a price. Hell Priest Grab is waiting. Gotta look fucking awesome. Beautiful. All right. Look at that. It's a cool area. All right. What are my challenges? Got uh, 75 percentable headshot kills. That's a uh, weapons mission. No challenges available. Interesting. Eliminate D grab. All right. Sentinel Prime. View the image. Nice. All right. The ancient arena is a holy place for the people of ancient Anur. Constructed in the earliest days of their history, this coliseum served as a proving ground for trial by combat. Historical records indicate that the Argenta did not jail their own kind. Rather, prisoners and criminals were granted the right to earn their chance at regaining honor through victory in the arena. Those who succeeded were given a place to fight in the front lines of the Sentinel army, to die in service to Argent Anur. The tr this traditional use of the arena has subsided since the assimilation with the Dark Realm. The corrupted priests now allow more violent exchanges with armed captives pitted against demon for sport. The priests of the Order Dieg Di continue to hold undisputed power on ancient Dunur, spilling the blood of the Argent Ascended class it will result in the transgressor's banishment. Asylum amongst the Argenta will be denied to anyone who adhere to the rules of engagement. Who do not adhere to the rules of engagement. Awesome. Holy crap, look at all that. Alright. Let me in. Alright, so down I go. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. We found him in the valley, just outside the castle walls. He was badly wounded and wearing this. That's my helmet. Got you. Huge got Kill them. Must kill them all. Hmm. He has fight in him yet. <laughs> in spite of his injuries. Send him to the I need to turn up the uh, voice volume a little bit. That's still a little bit low. Let him be judged like the others. Cool. That's kinda crazy. Okay. History of the Sentinels, part four. View image. Nice. All right. 
Translation from the Ligra Sultanet, Sulta Gen, Sultagenta, Book of Kings. In the time of King, no, King Novik, as the Argenta secured peace and safety through dimensions across time and space, an outlander came to us. He was not of our world and spoke in ugly tongue. How he was first... How we first took step upon our land was unknown. Sentinel scouts had found the outlander bloodied, clawed, and near death, mumbling of impeding doom and the forces of darkness. Mumbling of impending doom and the forces of darkness. I can't speak today. The scent of blood followed him, and the gore that stained his armor seemed not entirely his own. By our gentle law, the stranger would be judged in the Colosseum, where he would be given the chance for, of all who stray from the path to fight for his freedom. We knew not of this stranger. His mind seemed crippled with rage. He dressed in tire not suited for our lands and carried munition of arcane origin. We watched as, he w as his will overcame his injuries, and in the blood arena he proved his worth. The outlander's technique was crude and brutal, but the determination in his charge echoed that of any true-born sentinel. His war cry echoed through the Colosseum as did the sound of his fury, and the guards cheered his banner. Rip and tear, they shouted as the beast pushed beyond mortal wounds and certain death. He would be gifted no rank, no title. The survivors in the arena were provided only one reward, the right to earn an honorable death while spreading the blessings of the makers to those in need. The outlander's determination was witnessed, his ravings documented, and through the word of the Order Deeg, the Khan Maker had him brought before her. She set her minions to learning his tongue, for with his ugly, ugly words he spoke of lands unseen, creatures born of fire in a dark place unknown to the queen and her caste. Yet another opportunity to expand the gift of the makers to those in need. Dope. Just making sure I have everything. Sign of truce, eh? This is gonna be a heavy reading episode, it looks like. And so, look like the next one will too. Uh, view image. Oh, that's so fucking cool. All right. Translation from the Liga Sultigenta, Book of Kings. On the eve of, of the Black Star, the Dark Ones came from a world beneath our own. Not through ship nor ephemeral vessel, but through the fabric of dimensions. Out of swirling, fiery gates came horned beasts from a timeless realm. First one, then many. Crashing waves of evil swelled from the obsidian forest of the Argentinian overlands. Or, yeah, Ar Argentian. Argentian, not Argentinian. Argentian overlands. The Alorum clans from the eastern mountains fell first to the black horrors of the devils. And the city of Telorum was slung under the weight of their charge. We sentinels rose to meet the beasts with spear in hands, the might of the holy fleet striking back at the demons, but the dark gates from whence they came gave birth to still an even greater hordes. A line of blood was drawn with the fallen of both sides, and unholy war wars began as the time of darkness came upon us. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, a little workshop here. Interesting. Trying to bribe me, eh? Is there anything up here? To my left, up there. Over there is a thing, so I need to go over here. Ah, I missed it. I missed it! There we go. Ooh. I wonder what that does. Let me first go here, grab this. I'll read that in a second. Oh, well, I guess I'll read it now. History of Sentinels, 
part seven. Oh man, I missed one somehow. Ooh. Hey, excuse me. View image. Close entry. All right. Translation from Liger of Solta, Solta Genta, Book of Kings. The Khan maker demanded a, tith, a tithe of the essence, and driven by her desire, the priests submitted themselves to her. The Order of the Deeg took counsel with the king, speaking only of the spoiled land sure to be found through the cleft in creation, and the opportunity to purge the new invaders from Agent Denur. We took the war to their crusade le or to their cursed land, pressing through the gates of wizardry. There was one among us who seemed to know the true nature of those foul demons. It was the Outlander, the stranger who had come to us from places unknown, who had survived in the front lines far longer than any sentinel-born prisoner had before. His passion for the battle against the vile horde was evident, his lust for their destruction matching our own, through Argent Dinur, rem though Argent Dinur remained a foreign land to him. His fervor caught the attention of inquisitors of the Sentinel Guard, some whisperings of a suspected allegiance he uh, held in secret with the demons. Silencing the critics, King Novik deemed him, a worthy of, him worthy of selection. The signi uh, signifiers brought a commission to our king, and it was decided that he be lifted from the common rabble. Though no arena-born prisoner had ever been granted the honor, the Night Sentinels broke tradition and deemed the Outlander worthy of training. A number of disciples grumbled and chaf chafed at the barbarian present in their ranks. But in the war with the demons, all opportunities for even the slightest advantage were to be considered, and as they witnessed the stranger spar with their hallmasters, they found him an undying, unrelenting compatriot. This man was an outsider, friend to none, and yet rose each time he was thrown to the dirt of the circle. Battered him. Oh no! Battered and bruised, his brow stained with blood, he rose the grim determination for the chance to face his enemies in armed combat once again. Time passed as the stranger was instructed in the codified mattresses of their order, the ancient lessons of battle and brotherhood taught to all sentinels. He could sense the opportunity before him. Soon, all of hell would feel his wrath once again. Satisfied he would not be a de detriment to their power prowess, the night sentinels granted him his wish as they ventured through the hell gates with a stranger in tow. They knew no rest fighting in the unnatural elements and training under the blood moon of night. The stranger suffered exhaustion wounds and sickness, but asked for no aid and was offered none. Three times the night sentinels ventured into the gate and back, and upon every return the stranger strode more capable than before, his gait locked in step with the march of the sentinels, a disciplined and now controlled lust for demon blood ever present. The passing of years and the in in numerous battles with the devils indentured the stranger to Argenta's mightiest warriors, and no longer did they con condescend to him as a new-blooded con conscript, for to them he had become a brother in arms forged in war, an ally, a weapon. And so with that, oh, hold up. Oh, I can't get there yet? Oh, gotcha, That's that must be what this is for. Secret found. No. That must have been that down there. Gotcha, aha. Okay, so first. Oh, I didn't even realize this must have been blocked off. Let me grab that. Sentinels of the History Part... What is that? Six? Yeah, Part Six. And with that, that's where we're going to end this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!